Yo, what it do guys, welcome to my Fortuna and Orb Valor's fishing guide. I'd like to take a little time here to refer you to my previous guide on planes of idle on fishing, as I will be referencing some things back and forth for comparison's sake. With that being said, let's get straight into it. To begin, let's locate Fortuna by heading over to Venus and entering the relay from here. When inside, you will want to gain access to Orb Valor's, and to do so, you need to pay Utica a visit. She is by the big elevator door sitting down. Follow her instructions until told otherwise and complete your Fox Solaris quest. Now, if you don't happen to have any Solaris United standing, then re-talk to Yudiko and complete a level one bounty. There should be enough standing for us to pick up our first spear. So with all that being completed, we will now begin to talk to the business, otherwise known as the biz for sure. This is our man when it comes to Orb Valor supplies for fishing and animal conservation. By the by, if you happen to have any troubles locating any NPCs, you can always use your menu to access fast travel to the person that you seek. When talking to the biz, select Browse Wares, and here we can find the Shock Prod Fishing Spear. Purchase it so with 500 Solaris United standing, then enter your arsenal and make sure you have your Shock Prod Spear equipped. Make your way over to the elevator door and let's ascend into Orb Valis. Start off by heading over to the coolant reservoir. Here we can use and test out our new spear. Access your gear menu and begin to wield your shock prod spear. Now, unlike the fishing spears from Cedars and Plains Vidalon, the fishing spears from Fortuna have a different way of interacting with fish within the Orb Valis. When thrown and successfully hooking onto a fish, a bar will appear. This is like a mini game feature. Time your click when the slider lands within the colored box area to pull in your catch and claim your reward. When timed correctly, the spear will release an electronic current with your successful catch. This will temporarily stun nearby servo fish. Catching a stun servo fish, you will notice the colored box area to be much larger. Therefore, this makes most catches easier. Unlike Cedar's fishing spears, these Fortuna spears do no damage when thrown. Therefore, you need not worry about which type of spear for which type of fish. All spears on Fortuna can catch all of the servo fish on Orb Valis. However, the difference between the two spears found in Fortuna, Shock Prod and Stunner, is how long the duration lasts on other servo fish when timed correctly. So you really would want the second spear called Stunner, as the stun utility will make for an easier fishing session. Do not panic when trying to time your catch. If you happen to miss the slider going past the colored box, then it will reset a maximum of four times, gradually getting faster each time. If you miss the box and fail to time your reactionary click, then you will fail the catch and you will have to repeat the process. Just like fishing in Plains of Eidolon, when you have caught your fish, you'll be given a reward screen. Here, it displays the server fish name at the top. Underneath that, the value of the fish, basic, adorned, or magnificent. The difference between them is how much scrap you get back when dismantling the fish with the business. In the bottom right, it displays points per catch. This doesn't really do anything, it's just a utility value that you can appreciate how many points the catch was worth. Similar to how KG per fish works off inside the Plains of Eidolon. You can use Cedar's fishing spears to catch fish on Old Valis too, but you will damage the fish, therefore reduce the value of its standing when caught, so it's best advised to not do so. When observing the coolant waters, you may notice an oily fluorescent green light glow within the coolant water. This is a hot spot. It will always be better to fish in these areas and use your baits here. Some fish are located within caves scattered around Orb Valis. Here, you will find the most rarest of the servo fish. Don't forget that just like Plains of Eidolon, resource boosters work with fish core, doubling your rewards, and Smita Kavat's charm can also double your rewards. Both of these values can be stacked on top of one another. There are three types of temperature within Orb Valis, cold, warm, and freezing. So now we will break down where to find what servo fish, the temperature needed, and the baits required. Here, I have composed an image with all the information you need to help guide you throughout your fishing adventures. Let's start off with servo fish found in the lake, such as Sapcaddy, a common corpus servo fish found during the cold and freezing temperatures. You can use broad spectrum bait, but it's not required. Next up, we have Echo Winder, a common corpus servo fish found during the warm temperatures. You can use broad spectrum bait as well, but it's also not required to do so. Next up, we have Krilla, a uncommon corpus servo fish found during the warm temperatures. You can use Krilla bait, it's not required to do so. These are uncommon, they will spawn without the bait. 
And finally, we have Longwinder, a rare corpus servo fish found during the warm temperatures. I personally recommend Longwinder bait, if, but if you are solely focused on them, they are not as common as the others, but they do spawn in a couple of times without bait. Moving on to the ponds, we will find Teak, a common corpus servo fish found during cold and freezing temperatures. You can use broad spectrum bait, but it's not required to do so. Recaster, a common corpus servo fish found during the cold and freezing temperatures, exactly like the tink. You can use broad spectrum bait, but it's not required to do so. Next up, we have Trumizon, a rare Oricon servo fish found during the cold and freezing temperatures. This servo fish prefers freezing temperatures. I recommend using Trumizon bait if you're going to focus on catching plenty of these. However, they do spawn from time to time, but rarely. Bricky, a common corpus servo fish found during the warm temperatures. You can use broad spectrum bait, but it's not required to do so. And lastly, I, I a common corpus servo fish found during the warm temperatures. You can use narrow spectrum bait, but it's not required to do so as they spawn plentiful. Lastly, we move on to the caves. Scrubber, a common corpus servo fish found during the cold warm temperatures. You can use broad spectrum bait, but it's not required to do so. Mirewinder, a common corpus servo fish found during the cold warm temperatures. You can use broad spectrum bait, but again, it's not required to do so. Caramo, a rare servo fish found during cold warm temperatures. This servo fish prefers warm temperatures, but I recommend to use the caramo bait on hot spots if you are wanting to catch plenty of these. They can spawn from time to time without bait on hot spots, but it is rare. And lastly, Cynophid, a rare Oricon servo fish found during the cold warm temperatures, just like the caramo, this servo fish prefers warm temperatures. I recommend you to use Cynophid bait on hotspots if you are wanting to catch plenty of them. But just like the caramo, they can spawn randomly uh, on hotspots without bait. So that right about wraps up my guide. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate that and I hope this helped you guys. It's a small request to ask of you to leave a comment or a rating for feedback to help me understand how I'm doing with my guides. But with all this being said, if you are new and you enjoyed, smash the subscribe button and I'll be catching all of you guys on the flippy. Peace.